The riddle of sustainable income. This is something I suppose a lot of people don't seem to get. Um, but if you want to move overseas permanently, um, it's something you build up over time. I mean, this month alone, I've I've managed to increase my should we call it offshore income by hundred dollars a month permanently. Um, just on something I, I've done in the last three weeks. I also have other money that our websites I've developed, which are making some are making ten dollars a month, some are making ten dollars a day. Um, but basically, it's another thousand thousand pounds a month. Now, the other side of this being is even on Amazon. You know, uh, somebody brought up the Amazon links because I don't really promote Amazon at all. But you know what? I've got £25 in there this month, which isn't a big big amount, but where have you seen my links? I hardly post them. Um, my point being is, do, do you think I'd make more money if I made more of an effort? Of course I would. And this is the thing. It's not about trying to get this big pot of gold somewhere. What you, what you want is money coming in from different locations. An example of that is VPN, virtual private networks. Because there's a lot of people that will use a VPN. If you don't know what one is, it basically allows you to have a private network. So people uh, find it harder, and I don't say impossible to track you, I say harder to track you, um, with what you're doing online. Now, I know you're going to get them, I'll get the village idiot saying, oh, it must be doing something dubious. Well, the answer is no. Um, one of the first things I want to say is when you're working with corporations, a lot of them demand you're on a VPN because they need the network to be secure for their data. Um, you also have places like the Middle East where you have no access to some of the places you, the websites get blocked. And some of them are even just simple websites that you need access to work-wise. So the Middle East use VPNs a lot. And I'm not on about protest or anything like that. That's completely different. I'm talking about the fact that you may actually want uh, to connect to your corporate website and the IPs are blocked for whatever reason. The other ones, no, the VPNs, the advantage with the VPN is if you set it up right, you get a ongoing payment. So like, say I signed up and I pay uh, £19 a month for... A, a pretty good one. I would get say five pounds a month for as long as I, uh, as long as that person is subscribed to it. So if it went on for five years, I'd be getting five pounds a month for the next five years. That's why these things are worth doing. Now, the bit that people don't understand or seem to avoid is they assume they don't get money the first month that nothing, they're not going to make any money. The reality is, what you start off with is an hour a morning, picking up different ideas and developing it. It could be a blog site on cooking. You know, it doesn't really matter what it is. And then you start developing it, and you're doing a couple of articles a day, and it builds up over time. But then you start doing affiliate links in there. You've got your AdSense in there. You start doing YouTube videos in there. And you build it up, and then it's like you agree to do one post a day, right? Once you've got that developed over to a certain size, and I say research this because it's all relative, um, you then start another website, and you do the same again on something completely different. And then you do another one on something else exactly the same, and then something else. And then you might go back to your different sites and go, I could do an ebook on that as well, and I'll sell the ebook on there, and you add that to it. So then you're getting five dollars a sale on the ebook. Oh, it's not a lot, of course it's not a lot, but that's the point. If somebody's spending fifty dollars on an ebook on cookery, um, then obviously somebody may actually turn around and say that book was crap. That cost me fifty dollars, but if the book was four ninety nine, they'll go, okay, it's a four ninety nine book. And they'll just, even if they don't like it, they won't ask for a refund. Um, 
not saying your book's bad, but I'm just saying that this is one of the things. Because I know with some ebooks, people get greedy, thinking they can write something that is Encyclopedia Britannica um, on something, and it's crap because they don't have enough knowledge on it. You're better off having a lot of smaller books that are going to a broader audience. So that's that's another thing. Then you can get into the realms of doing stuff like e-stores. Because um, obviously you can develop an e-store around all the sites. Because you can have an e-store with cookery on it. You can have an e-store on cycling, cycle parts, whatever. Um, electronics, hi-fi equipment, whatever. And then everything that sort of links into your e-store where you're getting stuff directly from um, AliExpress, etc. And you become a dropship on top of that. So what's my point? First thing is, you don't get this overnight. This takes a long time to develop. But while you're still, wherever you are now, still working, you can learn how to do it. You can test things, because you're not relying on the income. You're testing the water. So when somebody actually goes, okay, and then they suddenly go quiet because they've been testing stuff and then they say nothing. You probably found they've hit a niche that's making very, very good money and they don't want to tell anybody, right? So the point on this is you sit there and go through this sort of process of like, well, I like cooking. I'll start my first site on cooking. It ain't going to make you rich, but the point is it's not supposed to. The thousand websites is going to keep you sustainable and making a reasonable income. I still make money off containerliving.net, a website that needs completely overhauled and I wrote in, last time I updated it was probably, I don't, I don't even know, um, five years ago. Now that makes me probably $10 a month. And that's been $10 a month for the last five years without actually doing anything, right? So the point being is, this is why it becomes sustainable. Because you said, I only made $10 a month. You're forgetting that's $10 every month. But also, if you boost it, manipulate it, start putting a YouTube channel on it, it won't be 10. It'll be 100 or it could be 500, whatever. Um, and this is the things I'm trying to sort of get people to grasp that there's free money out there. And the reason I say it's free is, okay, you commit time. But a lot of the setups on this are completely free. YouTube's free. You don't pay anything for YouTube. They send you money every month once you start hitting $100 a month. And it's all achievable. And the funny thing is, you develop it right. You get all people giving you ideas and giving you concepts. And they're giving stuff that works for them as well. Because they, they may have used, like say this video here, gone away and thought... I'm going to try that. I'm going to go and do this. and I'll just try it for the next six months. I'll do a couple of articles a day and just try it. And then in six months' time, they found out that it's making them $60 a month. And they're like, well, you know, it's not, it's not cost me much. It's just a bit of time in the mornings. And then suddenly they hit something that worked really well. And they've suddenly gone to $3,000 a month. It's, it's possible. It's like when you look at YouTube channels, you, you probably wonder why some of them make so much money. I do. But the thing is, a lot of the time, it's been in the right niche at the right time, it's having the right product at the right time, and understanding that not all channels are equal. The Philippines channels, for example, is probably one of the most condensed channels and oversaturated um, with the, a low payout. Um, if you did stuff on camera equipment, for example, it will probably increase it. You'll probably find you make less videos and more money with a camera um, channel than you would with the Philippines. In reality, you know, no joking. Um, because the only thing with the Philippines ones, it's very easy to roll them out. Because if you've been there, done it, experienced it, you just switch the camera on, bang, and it's, it's there. It's like with Christian Cebu, he does a lot of stuff just in his day-to-day -day life. It's not really putting himself out to go anywhere because uh, he doesn't need to. But it still brings in a regular income for him. And this is why the Philippines channel is one 
that's an easy one to set up, get started, make some regular income, or pay for pay for your camera equipment at least, but expand into other things. Do other stuff. You'll find there's there's other niches there that pay way more. Um, but I just wanted to share this this morning because there's a lot of opportunities out there. And if you want to get to the Philippines, Spain, Ireland, wherever you want to go uh, full time and be completely disconnected from the internet, uh, so from a nine to five job and relying on an income you can generate yourself. And, and I will say the other thing is with this, because you're monitoring it better, because one of the things you do find is if you're on a, what do you call it, the old pay every week where you're getting your money come in, you overspend. You you think, I'm going to buy a conservatory, I'm going to buy some new windows, I'm going to buy a uh, new car, because you're thinking in installments. When you're actually earning it the other way where you wait for it to come in, you find you manage your money better as well. So it's like me, I don't think of, I've got pay this week, I actually think I've got six months money in the bank and I want to extend that to a year. Um, that's how I operate. I mean, we're moving to a bigger house right now. At the same time, I'm still financially better off every single month. And that's the thing. This is what you want to be striving for. Because at the moment, I know a lot of you guys will have debt, you'll have credit cards, you'll have mortgages, etc. Guess what? Just getting a small venture, even if it's a YouTube video uh, set up, you may find it pays your credit card debt off over a period of time. So when you get your AdSense every every month, once you get over $100, you could actually say that $100 goes to my credit card along with the normal payments. And you'll wipe out your debt. And when you wipe out your debt, and debt free, you start to see the difference it makes in your life. Because let's face it, most people have no idea how much they're giving away every month. And I, I literally say you are giving away. You're paying other people interest. But when you reverse this, they're paying you. I mean, I, I take spare money and I put it into peer-to-peer -peer lending. I put money into um, what they call it. It's, it's like peer-to-peer -peer lending, but it's property investments. The point being is I'm getting money off other people instead of giving money away. And there's nothing to stop you getting in the same position. It's very easy to do. It just makes it just means you have to make that decision to make it happen. And I know I get people go, well, I don't have the ability to do it. I don't have it. You know what? Colombo. Colombo is a prime example. Colombo was not a smart detective when he was at the detective school or whatever. But he actually said that the thing is because he knew he wasn't as good as others, he worked harder at it. Now, I just put that as a example, but. That's the thing. Anybody can achieve anything. It just depends how much time you commit to it. Um, it's like that million monkeys with a million typewriter story. Um, if you don't know what that is, research it. But the whole point is you'll eventually get there. And that's the way I look at anything. I mean, if you want it to happen, it'll happen. Thanks for watching.